Hello and welcome to Simple Vision. My name is Eric and today we're going to break down the new song by Swedish House Mafia and The Weeknd, Moth to a Flame. Well, before I get into this, let's just look at the name of the song, Moth to a Flame. What does it mean when we say that a moth is attracted to a flame? Well, basically a moth confuses the flame for being the light of the moon because of evolution, because the moth is a nocturnal creature, it has evolved to travel by the light of the moon. So the moth getting attracted to a flame is actually a mistake that it doesn't know any better about. And that has a lot to do with the meaning of this music video, so let's get into it. I don't think it's a huge secret that The Weeknd lately has been using movies as inspiration for his music videos. If you look at the weekend uh, music video for Blinding Lights, many people said that it reminded them of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And even more obviously, Save Your Tears had symbolism in it from the movie Eyes Wide Shut. And I believe that this music video has some symbolism in it as well. The first symbolism is that the characters that are all laying around on the floor that are like jacked into some kind of technological system, uh, they seem to look a lot like characters from the Matrix who were plugged into the robots uh, system to extract their energy. And it looks like in this music video that The Weeknd is sitting there in the middle of all of them being the flame for all of the moths absorbing all of these people's energy. Secondly, as the people are writhing around in the floor having their orgy, this part really reminded me of the movie Devil's Advocate, where the devil shows all of the people in hell who are wriggling around in this orgy, uh, seemingly getting all of this pleasure uh, in hell. Until There's this one scene where the weekend is in the middle and the light is above him, and the way the people are positioned and the light behind him, it looks a lot like a nuclear bomb having gone off. So we can see as these people are tapped into whatever this is that he's giving them, I, I believe it's some kind of like uh, virtual reality experience where they're experiencing this huge party and uh, sexual pleasure with everyone else. Uh, he's actually sucking their soul or their life force from the real world. Next to the song, basically say that he's allowing this girl I presume it's a girl to go with another guy who's more good for her even though she secretly really wants him like a moth to a flame. This idea that pleasure can somehow lead to our downfall or the dichotomy of pleasure and pain and how they seem to go together reminds me a lot of The Weeknd's previous music video for Take My Breath Away which was about how he thought he was going to get himself into this great experience with this new girl, but then she ends up like hurting him a lot and dragging him by the neck. And if we notice this cord that's around his neck that he's being pulled by looks a lot like the computer cords that are hooking into him in this music video. Although the lyrics of Take My Breath seemed to be about a girl that wanted The Weeknd to asphyxiate her for sexual pleasure. I think that the music video for that one was actually about the dangers of losing ourselves in pleasure. Just like in Take My Breath, this world that they're in here seems to be this super modern world. But this, ex this seems even more extreme than in Take My Breath, as all these people seem to have lined up around the weekend or whatever character he's playing here to just give their lives in exchange for pleasure. I think that this really is about the dangers of giving in to our cravings, giving in to our desire to feel pleasure and happiness uh, at the expense of others or at the expense of our soul or at the expense of the things that we truly care about in life, be it drugs, the wrong person for us, or whatever else there is that we could sell our soul to. If you enjoyed this breakdown today, please leave a comment down below and let me know if I missed anything. Let me know you, what you think I was right about, what I was wrong about, or just say hi. It means a lot to me and it helps out the channel for the algorithm. Uh, and see you next time. This is